Cancer, welcome to um, your love reading. We're going to look into your person's mind, their feelings, intentions, and their next course of action. This is just going to be a quick um, reading before I do the whole monthly um, like thorough reading. So um, let's go ahead and check on your person's energy currently. We have communication. We have am I fully claiming my authority? This is a badger. Defend. We have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And then we have confusion. The present is clouded, the future uncertain. More, more information is needed for clarity. And then we have love. Love conquers all. So this is basically like where your person stands when it comes to you. Um, there's confusion in regards to love, but they do love you because this came up. And right now this is like if they're not sure if they should communicate like at what certain like layer of kind of defense because this person is very um like they don't let anyone in and th this discipline has been uh, this guarded energy has been implemented for quite some time it looks like and they're not sure if you're um one that would stay and it'll be worth it to let their guard down and then we have less quarter moon in Pisces. So this person could have a moon in Pisces. Talk less and feel more. And then we have three of angels, clarification. This is three of swords um, in the regular tarot. And we have number five, change your focus. Again, change. This is shifting their perspective. Um, this person, I don't know if they told you, but it looks like in the past, like this person has been hurt a lot. Um, like love has not been a greatest thing in their life. Like they always get left in sort of confusion. So um, always get left behind, I'm hearing. Um, but at the end of the day, what I really like with this person's energy is they don't give up when it comes to love. They still have that belief that they're going to find someone that they're going to spend their life with. And it looks like you could be a really, really like good contender in this. But it leaves them in a state of confusion because, again, the past is rearing its ugly head. Again, with the five here, that is representing change. So... This person's trying to shift their focus and maybe focus on the good things and not kind of because if you anticipate what's going to happen it's kind of like manifesting that kind of turn of events hold on a second i have to turn on turn off my um music hold on all right so um let's go ahead and see what this person is manifesting right now then we're gonna do tarot and then messages from your person this is what they're trying to hone in currently a present energy um, growth and then we have family here that's the seahorse energy and then we have soda light this is logic instincts rationality rational think is thinking is heightened with this the, with the logic stone known to clear mental confusion and enhance analytical and creative problem solving for those on the sensitive side of the spectrum, soda light helps ease anxiety around emotions and calms inclinations toward flighty feelings. So this person, not only were they anxious about you and when it comes to love, but this person does not date just to date. This person actually picks certain people, whether man or woman, I don't know. But this energy of your person, they date for a long term. In the end, they, they're looking for that. Do you see twos here? They're two of cups. They're, um, they're four of wands. The person that will be their forever person. So they need to kind of see through the veil of just the honeymoon period. I don't know how long you've dated this person. But it looks like they should quit worrying about things that are not and let things unfold naturally. Um, this stone provides insight into truths that make sense, not just logically but intuitively. It calls you to, it calls you back to your animal instincts, guiding you to trust your bodily sensation and the messages your physical self is constantly sending to your brain. This is Venus in Sagittarius. 
So Sodalite, this is what this person is kind of honing in, their analytical skills and really doing things intuitively instead of like logically. Um, with partner moon and Pisces here, it looks like this person with moon and Pisces, it's basically highly intuitive. And instead of doing like logically, maybe doing like a list of whatever strengths you guys have in a relationship, you should just go with how you feel when you're with a person. Like do, this person's probably analyzing, are they happy? Are they like, do you, um, you know, like, will you be the person that will take care of them if they're sick um what if like something happens would you be quick to act like this person's analyzing everything um maybe you guys have dated this person for five months maybe even all the way to five years and it looks like things need to shift so let's look at your person's tarot cards again i just want to clarify this is the current energy so i'm not going to do the lengthy bit um Next week, I'm going to do another checkup on this person again. So we have Queen of Swords. Because every decision, whatever this person does, the energy shifts. It really flows freely. And it looks like this person's going to be um, just following their intuition. Uh, and then we're going to do messages. Okay, so once they reach clarity, they're going to be heading... Um, towards you with that knight of wands with the truth or maybe kind of clarify what was happening with them again with communication there okay we have wheel of fortune again with that just doing things intuitively um, that came out uh, that way so no more waiting Okay, so they're gonna come out with just the Page of Cups energy. This is gonna be a small love offer. Maybe you guys have not spoken for quite some time. Um, maybe this is their energy or yours. Um, you're gonna be, they're gonna anticipate that you're gonna receive them with this um, no bullshit energy. Like just say your truth and we're gonna see from there that kind of attitude or this could be them but the knight of wands is their energy this is charging forth to kind of this will be a little um with the page of cups this is more of like a very small um like loving passionate message this person would not tell you what has happened with their frame of mind um they're gonna see how it will flow again with you if it's gonna flow like stagnantly or if it's gonna be like very choppy waters um but they're not gonna wait they're gonna they're gonna come through it's just that it might take a while for this person to open up that they had someone in their past um that really kind of skewed their perception when it comes to love and they want to ensure that you're the person that would actually stand by them thick and thin um, they're gonna tell you that it took quite some time for them to and I'm hearing five weeks maybe all the way to five months for this person to actually realize that overthinking is not gonna be like an analysis paralysis would not be like the key for this to fully uh, reach its capacity and they probably realize too that they're one of the reasons that stagnation in this relationship um, was the cause of their action or non-action so let's go ahead and see um answers person what messages for them we have mirrors you're projecting your own fears and limitations onto me go then to understand that you are seeing yourself not me so maybe there's a lot of projections going on when you project uh, when you confront this person with something that you're not happy about you know, I had another reading that came, this came out as well. Okay, we have one all about growth. I need to be strong in who I am before I can merge in my energy with yours in the 3D. I'm afraid I could lose myself in this relationship. Again, with that confusion, is it worth to take the risk? 
We have number six. When I let myself go deeper into thoughts of you, I can feel my heart opening. Yeah, with that love. This person loves you, though. And no matter how confused, how much they fight it, like it's just not gonna happen. It's there. I feel abandoned. I often feel like others let me down. Again, with its three of swords, this is in the past. People walk away from them that cannot understand. Um, with 69 here, I don't know if you're dealing with another cancer or 99969 is relevant. Um, okay, I need more. This is what they're working on is not to bring old baggage into this relationship because the wounds from the past needed to be addressed because it was bleeding into this relationship. And you have to see that this is not the same. It's not the same relationship they had in the past. Okay, we have patterns, number five again, which is the changing. My ego is fragile to criticism and rejection. I've created walls to protect myself. So this is one of the things that they had to address as well. So this person probably does not talk more because communication is here and here talk less feel more so this person will probably show it through like love language like maybe holding hands always keeping you close to them and we have mirrors again i wish you could see that we are mirroring each other right now and we have 11 i'm realizing this connection is something special and worth treasuring and then one we need to wait for divine timing. Time is healing our wounds and creating the perfect conditions for our reunion. London could be a significance. So this is all I have for you, Cancer. This is the current energy of your person. Um, it looks like divine timing is essential here. And um, I'm gonna go check in again next week on the intentions and their current energetic field. Um, hoping that there's going to be a breakthrough in this person's healing um, from the past energy. It's not like they're in love with someone. It's more of the pain, the imprint that was left from... It's not just one person. There's like an imprint left by every heartbreak they had. And it's kind of like accumulated thing placed in one baggage. And it looks like that baggage they put on layaway. And now they they had to take that box and kind of open it and peel everything that's happening from the past heartbreak that they were not addressed they did not address before so um this is all i have for you i'm gonna come back again next week and to see what your um person's up to um so happy healing good luck with everything and stay safe bye